the latest COD for 2019 is here. And if it feels at all familiar, well, that's probably because the developers Infinity Ward have hit reboot on the title that changed the direction of the series and practically evolved the whole genre of shooters altogether, Modern Warfare. This new shiny spiritual successor has a lot going for it, with a compelling campaign and Spec Ops co-op, but like every COD before it, I've ignored all of that and instead dived headfirst into the multiplayer. And I'm not getting out anytime soon. In fact, I'm so impressed with just how many different modes they've included that I'm putting forward what I think are the three best new multiplayer modes in the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Starting out with my personal favourite, Realism is a stripped back version of Team Deathmatch and shares a lot in common with hardcore matches from previous titles, but still with enough small tweaks to feel like a fresh mode. Stripping out the HUD and minimap helps keep players focused on what's down their sights rather than having to constantly scan the screen for info. Of course this does mean checking your reloads to make sure you're not running low, and with only radio chatter to inform you of your kill streaks, keeping track of your body count can also come in handy too. Ready for deployment. The two changes that really alter the way matches play out are a much shorter time to kill and the removal of hit indicators, which makes confirming kills much trickier and can lead to some stressful standoffs or even the chance to play dead. Thanks to these factors, as well as some other small tweaks, realism matches tend to play at a steadier pace. Players move around the map crouched to minimise noise, and teams often stick together instead of just running off in multiple directions like a bunch of out-of-control kids at IKEA. Personally, I don't know if I'll go back to ever playing regular team deathmatch after this. I think they could have gone further by removing enemy names and kill cams entirely. I mean, while you're at it, just remove the friend indicators altogether. Let's get real, people. Welcome to COD meets Battlefield, because that's essentially what you're looking at. I mean, why even bother comparing it to anything other than the obvious influence that is the dominant open warfare game and long-running competitor to the series? Honestly, I'm surprised we haven't seen something like this come along sooner. Taking the tight, claustrophobic, fast-paced action from COD and letting it run wild and free in the open fields of battle. This mode sees up to 64 players fighting over multiple capture points, with the ability to squad spawn and commandeer an array of vehicles including APCs, quad bikes, even helis that'll have you and your team screaming that iconic line, Get to the chopper! These larger maps cater for both close quarter fighting over heavily contested midpoints, as well as the option to sneak around and flank the enemy's position to grab any unattended endpoints and then pick off spawns from the enemy HQ. There's also a lot more verticality, particularly in the urban Tavorsk district map, which allows you to ascend to rooftops via elevator shafts. Well, let's be honest, you'll inevitably wind up camping out with a sniper rifle, picking off your foes from afar while you mutter Psalm 144. I do this. My fortress, my high tower, and my deliverer. My shield, and he in whom I trust. Tactically, the whole thing may still not be as complex as its bombastic older brother Battlefield, but with multiple killstreaks going off at once, constant radio chatter, and some amazing sound design, this is a long overdue mode that perfectly suits COD's return to gritty, grounded warfare. But good luck trying to get this theme out of your head while you're playing. Gunfight. The mode, however, that feels the least like traditional COD is Gunfight. No longer the weapon progression ladder deathmatch, it's now evolved into a round based matchup between teams of two players, who each have one life per round. Rounds can be won by either eliminating both opponents, or after a set amount of time, capturing a point that'll unlock in the center of each map. Enemy secured the objective. Win a total of six rounds, and you claim the match. The main variable being the randomized loadouts, which can throw you in with anything from a sniper rifle and a shotgun, Hostiles in the area. to a silenced pistol and throwing knives. Changing this gear up every second round, along with the multiple lane-based minimaps, means you'll need to mix up your playstyle to keep your opponents on their toes or on their backs. The whole thing has a touch of Rainbow Six Siege to it all, both in its more methodical playstyle, which requires good communication and calculated maneuvers, as well as the pop-up text to inform you of how many players remain in each match. It's a really refreshing change of pace and a nice little tactical cleanser when the chaos of regular multiplayer starts to wear a bit thin. Although fair warning, this mode can get its hooks in, especially when you find yourself on the end of a solid losing streak. My advice? Take a deep breath, accept that they played better than you, and just go to bed.
get that round. We've still got a shot. Oh, maybe just one more. So there you have it, those are my three favourite multiplayer modes currently doing some heavy rotation in Modern Warfare. However, with the promise of free future updates and hopefully a reappearance of that elusive night mode that was pulled soon after public launch, maybe they won't be the only favourites for long. Meanwhile, let me know if you agree with these picks, or do you prefer sticking with the classics? Either way, remember, have fun out there and stay frosty, soldier.